All right, what's going on everyone back with another video. Today, we're gonna be working on the brand new virtualization server. We're gonna be working on the R740. We have a 64 gig kit of RAM. This is DDR4 2666. And we're gonna be putting it in the R740. Now, I don't know if you guys watched the last video, but we did upgrade the four excerpts and we got rid of them. We got the new R740 as its replacement. This is going to save us uh, a lot in the power bill, heat, and it's going to be an overall better system than the older Xeons anyway. The original plan was to go with the R740, but um, this kind of just fell into my lap. They were offering big, big discounts. So yeah, this is where we're at right now. And yeah, I guess we can go ahead and take it out the rack and start upgrading it. All right, so we've got the R740 up here. As you guys can see, we've got the absolutely crazy amount of RAM slots. And I'll take the camera off the tripod in a second to show you guys the rest of it. But we've got an additional 10 gig NIC. We've got the CPU, which is a Intel Xeon Silver 4210. It has a total of 10 cores and 20 threads. Base speed of 2.2 gigahertz. It turbos all the way up to 3.2 gigahertz, I believe. Uh, like I said, 24 DIMMs, two sockets. The second socket is not populated at the moment. I do plan on getting a second CPU probably later on in the fall, maybe in the winter, later this year. We've got the hot swappable fans with a blink since I only have the single CPU configuration. This is where your PCI risers would usually be, and it's pretty blank because this is a base R740. Uh, the additional 10 gig NIC, and that's pretty much it. I would turn it around and show you guys, but it's hard to move, so I'll show you that later. But yeah, as you can see, right over there, we've got the single 8 gig DIM. We're going to be removing that and replacing it with the four 64 gig, I'm sorry, four 16 gig DIMs. And before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about why I purchased an R740 other than an R730 or R720. So um, the reason I didn't go with like an R720 and just upgrade it all the way is simply because I wanted a newer platform. Uh, I've never owned a newer computer before and this was a pretty okay deal for what it was. So I did go ahead and purchase this. Now, usually I wouldn't recommend somebody go out and buy something like this. It's pretty expensive for a home lab, you know, especially when you're trying to keep things cheap and inexpensive as possible. But this is actually a pretty good deal. These machines retail for somewhere around $1,900. I got this with upgrades, upgraded power supply, upgraded CPU for around, I think, $1,500 is what I end up paying with the additional shipping charges and all that stuff. Like I said, they're running a promotion, but uh, if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have been able to purchase this. But yeah, I'm very impressed with it. It's quiet from what I've done so far on it, like loading up initial VMs and stuff like that works great i haven't really got this got to put this thing to the test just yet uh because we only have eight gigs of ram so let's go ahead and get started so they'll what they want you to do is to populate the white dim slots first so that's exactly what we're going to do let me go in here and pop these clips open gotta be gentle with this stuff here's the eight gig dim focus this is the single rank, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work because I think these 16 gig dims are dual rank. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I just don't want to risk it. So let's go ahead and start populating the white slots. We'll go ahead and start at the one at the very rear. All right, make sure I've got this thing lined up good. Jam it in there. This is an expensive machine. I would prefer not to mess it up. There you go. And then I guess we can go ahead and move on to this slot over here, which is A4. Okay. And look at that, and we're loading up in the ESXi. And as you guys can see, power to draw 740. 
Let's see on 40 through 10. 63 and a half gigs of memory, so 64 basically. So yeah, there we go, guys. We are successfully running 64 gigs. We can now we can now go ahead and start the process of getting all our VMs set up and all of our labs set up on the new R740. Got the free NAS box. I'll actually go ahead and turn that on now. I am going to be doing some migration from this R510 to the R720, just moving around some files. But yeah, I am super excited to get this stuff set up. And I will let you guys know how it goes. Probably make an update video of how it's all working. Yeah, but yeah. And uh, this is overall going to be a very efficient system for the next five, six, seven years. Other people might think differently. Some people might say this is overkill. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because it's my system. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're not really doing much else with the system for right now. So that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.